What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I kind of wanted to bring back the Makeup for Beginners series. Uh, you guys seem to have loved those videos whenever I did like, I think I did my foundation, lipstick, eyeshadow, how to contour. Um, like basically the basics to complete a face. And I basically broke down each individual topic and really went into full depth about it and kind of explained like how you do it, products you need to use, et cetera, et cetera. And so since you guys love that one, I wanted to come to you guys and do like a makeup do's and don'ts video. I know there's a bunch of makeup do's and don'ts around YouTube and I actually personally love watching those videos because I feel like you learn something new every time. Um, and so since I love them, I want to go ahead and do it myself and put my own spin on um, those videos and just honestly share like my tips and tricks that I've learned over the years because I can guarantee you that the don'ts or that I have done the don'ts plenty of times where I kind of got used to doing makeup. So the don'ts that I'm sharing are things that I probably did whenever I first got into makeup. So let's just say I'm not judging y'all. I just wanted to share share the knowledge, share the wealth, you know? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so first up, we're going to start with the brows. So brows are, you guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge brow person. I love brows. I love, honestly, I love full but natural brows. I'm not someone who's into the super painted on brow look. I personally, I, per, I personally don't like that look. I prefer them to look more natural than more fake if that makes sense so I try to keep it more natural now one way to avoid that that I can tell you is to use pencil that's just a tip I personally have been reaching more for pencils lately as opposed to gel pomades like you guys know I love 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 the benefit Cabral but I have been probably used this in at least like a couple months again because I've just really been reaching for pencils and the one that I've been loving 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 lately is the CoverGirl brow pencil I use the shade honey brown okay so before I jump into the brows I guess I'll do the right side as the right side <laughs> so I'll do the do's on the right and then the don'ts on the left so I just like to brush my brow hairs up first this is again the do's. Lightly outline the bottom. Lightly outline the top. So first create the shape. So I always create the shape first, as you can see here. And I always follow my natural arch. So I don't ever bring my arch up too high or bring this part down too low. I always follow my natural arch. And then of course just go in and lightly fill it in and you guys can see why I love honey brown so much because as you can see it's pretty light um, it actually really really matches just my natural hair color in general like the way my because my brow hairs aren't super dark now some people their natural hair is really dark and if that's the case I would definitely go a little bit darker but for me because my hair isn't tinted too dark then it's a little bit lighter so I prefer to use a lighter pencil and also because my hair is lighter now and also so it just works a lot better of course as you can see I'm filling it in I am following the natural direction of my brow so instead of just filling it in I'm using natural brow strokes and of course go ahead and use the spoolie end to create a nice brow shape okay so that's my do's for the brow so again use the right shade of pencil okay whenever you're feeling in your brows to fill them in going in the direction of your brow hairs naturally so that way you know you're creating nice natural brow strokes again don't use too heavy of a hand you don't want it to look too painted on so for my don't side actually I just want to even brush my hair out so I kind of just leave my hair you know mm. as if it was just you know doing its own thing Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Rich Brown. So again, I use Honey Brown to begin with. So let's just say that I took the shade Rich Brown. Now, Rich Brown is darker. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a super dark brow versus a more natural skin-like brow. Okay, so on the don't side, I'm gonna take the shade Rich Brown and not follow my natural brow shape. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just draw a straight line across, okay? Now, first problem is that I'm creating a whole new brow shape. Now, for some people who have very, very tiny or barely their brows, that could totally work. You know, if you're if you're lacking in the brow department, you need to 
do what you can to create a brow shape. However, if you already have something to work with or like a foundation with your brows, just use what you have as opposed to creating a whole new shape. Cause I'm gonna guarantee you, especially if you're a beginner, nine times out of 10, you'll just get the brow shape wrong. So let's just say I didn't follow my brow and I just created whatever, okay? Now, first thing you also notice is that how much darker this one is compared to this one over here. Again, I'm gonna create my own shape. Let's do like a super arch on this side. Okay, that looks crazy. Okay, and I can not feel them in yet, but in my opinion, this looks crazy. Okay, so I personally would never do this, but again, this is a don't. Like I see these brows way too often, way more than I should. And so I'm trying to help somebody, okay? So then let's just go in and just fill the brows in now. Mm. On the don't side, I'm not filling them in in the direction that the hair is growing. I'm filling them into the side, just using a heavy hand and not even focusing on filling in the sparse areas, just focusing on this coloring in the whole brow which is a no, 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 no. Whenever you're filling your brows, you want to use light hand strokes, go in the direction that your brow hairs naturally grow, right? Over here, I'm just kind of filling them in and I'm using a really, really, really heavy hand. And I'm not focusing on this side, on the don't side, I'm not focusing on filling in the sparse parts. I'm focused on just coloring in the whole entire brow. And that's where things get messy. Obviously there's two different problems with the brows. This one's light and natural. This one over here is dark and heavy, okay? And again, these are don'ts that I have done before. I have used a super dark powder. Like for example, I remember when I first got into makeup, I used like the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade. I think it was, what's it, Ebony? Which is way too dark for my skin tone. But I used it, I used to walk home from crazy. But you know, you live and you learn. So this is rich brown, just in color in general. And there is honey brown. So you see the difference? So we have our brows filled in. I could even on the don't side, go ahead and fill mm -hmm. in the inner part of the brow, cause that's a huge don't as well. If you guys notice that whenever I do my brows, I prefer to kind of have a bit of like an ombre effect whenever it comes to my brows. I almost just don't even touch the inner part of my brow. Whenever I'm filling them in, I use the lightest hand and the lightest strokes when it comes to filling in the inner part of my brow. As you guys saw when I did it originally, I just made a few strokes there. A don't, however, is to fill in the entire brow from the beginning all the way to the end, okay? So you don't wanna fill in the beginning of the brow heavily. And of course the last thing is carving out the brow. And this is another area where a lot of women don't make the best choices. <laughs> so I wanna go ahead and just use the Morphe B, oh shoot, it rubbed off, B75 I believe, and a little bit of MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And this is what I always use whenever I carve out my brows. But if you guys have noticed, one thing I don't do is I do not carve out the top of my brow. I wanna show you guys the why. Of course on the do side, I'm going to just carve out the bottom of my brow. And what I'm doing is I'm just using the tip of the brow to again, follow that shape, okay? So super easy peasy, just following the shape naturally. I'm gonna drag that product downwards onto the actual mobile lid. I guess the lid is down there, but I guess in towards the crease. And I also kind of just bring the concealer onto the nose. I don't know why. I think it's just because it makes it easier for me to clean up the brow. Because same thing down here, whenever I drag the concealer, towards the end of the brow, I also bring it a little bit further down. Again, just to help with cleaning it up. So look like this whenever you get done. And then I'm gonna just take either my finger or just like a small little baby stippling brush and just blend this away, like so. Easy that was, it's super easy peasy. And of course for the 
could see that it's down here. Once you apply foundation and all kind of stuff, that disappears. Now, on the don't side, I'm gonna do a couple things just to kind of show you guys the common mistakes that I see women do when it comes to their brows. So first thing is to use concealer that's way too light. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light Pale. Obviously, made for fairer skin tones. It's, it's way, way, way too light, way too light. Now, on my NC42 over here is lighter. You definitely wanna use a lighter concealer because it makes it easier to really highlight that brow bone. Here is my NC42 though. You can see the comparison. Okay, so NC42 over here, and here is the light pale. Huge difference. I'm gonna take some of that light pale and carve out that brow. Okay, obviously the color choice in general is just all off. It just looks crazy. It just looks crazy. I would never, ever, ever pick this shade to highlight my brow bone with, never. But then again, you'd be surprised when people use the wrong shade of concealer under their brows. And now I'm just dragging that product downwards. You guys see the difference there? A mess. Okay, that's definitely a major don't, is don't use the wrong shade of concealer. I'm gonna blend that in with my finger. And then another common don't that I find you guys is mm. highlighting the top of the brow. Now, if you guys don't know about halo brows, that is an absolute don't. Halo brows are a no-no. Halo brows actually, whenever people highlight the top and bottom of their brow, and they never conceal the top. So whenever they apply foundation, you literally see a halo effect around the brow because it's lighter at the top and lighter at the bottom, and it's just sitting there. And it's very, very noticeable. So this is a halo brow. I'm gonna take my sibling brush just to kind of help it out a little bit. So after you go ahead and blend it in, this is a halo eye. So halo brows are a no-no. And this super dark, thick, full to the tip brow is a no-no in general. So I hope that you guys get an idea of very, very, very common mistakes that I have seen and that I find women make whenever it comes to their brows. There's definitely you know, a thick line between the do and the don't. And I hope this video really explained it. I know that I can sometimes over explain it, so I hope you guys don't kill me for that. But I really want to get my point across to show you guys what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to your brows. And take some practice, but once you get it down, it's, you know, you're good. So again, you guys, here's one more look at the do brow, and here's one more look at the don't brow. <laughs> So hope you guys enjoyed my makeup do's and don'ts brow edition. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And last but not least, if you are really interested in seeing more from me, go ahead and click the little bell icon that you see down below. That's actually the notification icon. And if you click that, it'll actually notify you every time that I upload a video and you'll be the first to know when you know a new video of mine is live. So go ahead and click the bell icon so you can join the Kyra Knox fam and be a part of all my future videos and see what I have to come. And that is about it. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye y'all.